First on the news at 6 o'clock, new allegations of excessive force and tonight a Baton Rouge police officer with a problematic work history has resigned because of it. The department put Troy Lawrence Jr. on leave earlier this month after several investigations into misconduct and use of force lawsuits that cost taxpayers thousands of dollars in settlements. News News Fallon Brown reports on what appears to have been the breaking point. Michael, a disturbing video shows a suspect being interrogated in a warehouse dubbed the Brave Cave by Baton Rouge police officers. Troy Lawrence Jr. was in charge of the initial arrest that ended with the suspect being injured so badly the jail would not accept him. Get in the back of a car, car, bro. You don't need to have a phone. Images captured on police body cameras are providing insight into the latest incident involving now former officer Troy Lawrence Jr. Take a look at this one. An empty warehouse with a single wooden chair and a very uncomfortable looking suspect being interrogated by Baton Rouge police officers, including Troy Lawrence Jr. Subsequently, he was taken to this place that was unknown to me at the time as the Brave Cave. Temple woman brought to the Brave Cave. Now, take a look at this picture showing a bump on the suspect's head allegedly sustained during a beating by officers after they turned off their body cameras. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Officers then at some point uh, what would I would consider would be a, like a gang style beating. Those injuries included a broken rib and were so bad the parish prison would not accept him for booking. WBRZ has reviewed a federal lawsuit filed on Monday. It addresses the interrogation room and the treatment of Jeremy Lee, but also a different matter. It accuses Lawrence of cursing at and assaulting four different people in just 90 seconds, then arresting two of them while using excessive force after he confronted relatives of a man who was shot by police last October outside a hospital. Now, Baton Rouge Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom has announced Troy Lawrence Jr.'s resignation. I thought that he should have been fired versus allowed to resign, uh, and I would like to see an investigation into criminal charges. As I understand it, Officer Lawrence uh, was scheduled for a pre termination hearing uh, next week, and uh, he chose uh, not to do that hearing but to resign. The now former BRPD officer was placed on leave more than a week ago and has been the subject of numerous internal investigations and lawsuits for misconduct and use of excessive force, leading to settlements that total more than $100,000 of taxpayer money.